Problem 8.31, we have two asteroids colliding. They have the same mass, which is very convenient. The initial speed of this is uh, 40 meters per second, and then they go off in two directions whose angles from the initial direction of motion are given. And let's call these angles theta A and theta B. And while we're at it, call this the positive x direction and this the positive y direction. So because we're not told of any forces acting external to the asteroids or any forces that there are are negligible because this is in the asteroid belt where everything is very far apart for the most part. Uh, the momentum in both of these directions is going to be conserved. So let's write down what we have for the x direction first. So m, which has no subscript because they both have the same mass, times va initial equals and now we're doing the x component, so we're going to want the cosines of these angles. Cosine of theta a plus m cosine of theta b. We'll note that all the m's cancel out here. Now in the y direction, there's initially zero momentum because this asteroid is only moving in what we're calling the x-direction. So then 0 is going to be equal to m sine theta a. Oh, my apologies. Um, yeah. We uh, we do want the speeds of these here. <laughs> Very important not to forget that. Cosine. It's even more important if you do forget that to then catch that before it's too late. So M, VA final. sine of theta a. Now this is going to be minus because b is moving in the negative, but the y component of b's velocity is in the negative y direction. S m v b final sine of theta theta b. So all of the M's cancel out. And we're left with a system of two linear equations in two unknowns. The unknowns being the final speeds of A and B. B final and so there you know you can take whatever way you like for solving this type of thing where you have the a system of equations there's a few ways of doing it And then plugging in the numbers, you find that the speed of A after the collision is 29.3 meters per second.
and the speed of B after the collision is 20.7. is 20.7 meters per second. So now that we know how fast they're going after the collision, we can start thinking about what fraction or percentage of the kinetic energy is lost. So you know the percent change in something is the change divided by its initial value. So this will be k final minus k initial divided by k initial. And then this works out to be the ratio of the final and initial kinetic energies minus 1. Be a final squared plus one and a half and the B final squared divided by. And then all of the one half m's are going to cancel out, which is makes our lives a little bit easier. But mostly just writing them down so that it's clear where we get you know, this, this from. And take all the one half of m's out, and so it's just the sum of the final velocity squared divided by the initial velocity squared. And then you take one off of that. And now this ends up being zero point eight zero four. So the way of thinking about this is this is how much energy is left from the initial state. And then subtracting one from that tells us what the, what the percent change is. And then this is, of course, oh, it is negative. about about 20% is lost.